My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can loop through rows and columns in an Excel sheet and pass them into a web search or a search in an app. So uh, here I got uh, two columns and uh, 10 rows without the headers. And we got some numbers here between 100 and 1000. And we want the, to loop through these numbers and have the, the first number typed in here and check one and the second number typed in here. And then after each row, we want to click accept. So how do we do that? Let's find out. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So head to UiPath. First, we need to find a read range. So here I created a workflow and use the one on the workbook drag the read range in and then we close down the Excel sheet otherwise we can use the read range but uh, I called mine new Microsoft Excel um, just uh, referred to yours whatever it is mine is on the desktop and it's here so open it's sheet one and I'll just use the entire range usually I'm not specifying anything here in the output we could call it uh, so press create a new variable press control K Call this one DT and then check maybe. You can see it comes uh, right here as a data table. So this data table is just um, it's the same data as there in the Excel sheet. It's just a data table that we now can um, query and do some things with. So uh, first we need to loop through each of the rows in this um, data table. So let's find a for each row drag it in. So for each row, and then we need to refer to this data table we created up here. So DT check. You can of course call it what you want up here, but I just call it DT check. Let us delete this body sequence here. And then we need to, uh, let's get our app on, we need to type something in here and here and click accept. So for each row, then we need to do something. Let's see that we want so for row one, we want to uh, type uh, the first amount in here, the second amount in here, and then click accept. So we need to have some set text or type into, take whatever you want. I think uh, set text is a bit faster for this. So let's drag in two set text, still in this um, for each row. Oh no, I created the sequence. Then we will indicate uh, where we should type the first thing in, that's here. And we could just make the second one as well. Uh, we will specify what's in it in a moment and then we will have a click so between each row we will have a click and remember to put it inside here and that will be the accept button you can also do this on the web like a search or anything just uh, use this method but now we need to specify what we want to type in in check one and check two and we can refer to um, the row uh, and the columns here. So we will say that we are in the row, that's the current row that we're in here in this for each row. That, well, let me open the Excel sheet, it's better to explain here. So we created a data table, but it looks like this Excel sheet. So when we're here, uh, we want to have this value in here so we can set it into the app and this value in here. So we tap in row, that's the current row here. And then item, that's the column. You can even see that if we go here and press control space, we'll have the auto-completion intelligence here. Then we can type in item and then uh, parentheses. We could either now um, choose to just, uh, this is column zero, it's zero index, and this is column one. So we can just type in zero or one in here like this. However, if these columns change position, uh, we're in a mess. So usually just specify the column name and we call it check one here. And then we need to, like this, and then quotation marks, and then to string. And the same method is just uh, in the second one, so we can just copy paste. This one will have the check two in. And now we essentially created the loop that will loop through uh, rows and columns in an Excel sheet. So let us close the Excel sheet and see if our robot is doing the things we want. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more UiPath tutorials in the future. Um, we can see now it loops through our data set and it click accept every time. That's fine. Accept, accept. I think we got 10 um, rows, but you can have a, a big, as big a data set as you want and you can do whatever you want, like log into a website, search a website, whatever, and save the data. 
So that's it for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.